Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I'm going to show you the Out of the Shadows HDR or High Dynamic Range workflow. This workflow comes with 30 brushes and 64 stackable presets and it's basically great for creating crisp HDR images. So what your high dynamic range is is the ratio of lights to darks in your photograph and you can use this workflow to enhance landscapes, street and architecture photography. So I have a photograph open and we're just going to go ahead and start. And the first thing I'm going to do is use an HDR preset. So I'm going to go for the HDR clean high dynamic range, which as you can see has added a lot of color and a lot of contrast to the photograph and really sharpened it. So the next preset I'm going to stack on top of that is a polish preset and I'm going to go for the polish color pop. The next preset I'm going to use is the Tone and Tint Over Saturate. I'm going to add a slightly, a little bit more color to the photograph. And I'm going to stack a fourth preset on top of these and I'm going to go for an Exposure preset. And I'm going to go for less highlights. So, so far I've only added four presets, but it's made quite a difference in the photograph by adding color, light, and definition. So now I'm going to go to my brushes and I'm going to go to my Out of the Shadows HDR brushes and the first brush I'm going to use is the HDR Sky Subtle Definition. And I'm going to use this brush all up in the sky to add contrast and definition to these clouds. So if I hold my cursor over this dot right here, I can see everywhere that I've highlighted. All right, what I'm gonna do is just for this brush, I'm gonna slightly turn up the contrast and I'm gonna turn the exposure down a little bit and turn the shadows down as well. All right, so I'm gonna hit new. I'm gonna start a new brush and for this brush, I'm going to use the water definition brush. And just like I used it in the sky, I'm going to use this brush down here in the water to create some more definition and contrast down here as well. All right, so that's all I'm going to do to this photograph. So here's the before and after. As you can see, it's made a complete difference. We've really added a lot of um, sharpness, definition, color, and light to this photograph. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a second photograph. Alright, so I have my second photograph open. So if you are into landscape or architecture photography, this is a really great workflow. Um, both the brushes and the presets really do a lot of work to enhance the photograph. So for this photograph, I'm going to start with a preset, an HDR preset. And I'm going to use the HDR standard. All right, which has added a lot of brightness and definition to the photograph. The next one I'm going to use is the polish preset in ColourPop. And the last preset I'm going to use is the Exposure Less Highlights preset as I used on the first one. So now I'm going to go into my brushes and I'm going to use my brushes to do a little bit more work on this photograph. So I'm going to hit the brushes tab, um, New, and the first brush I'm going to use is the General Lift Shadows brush. And I'm going to use this brush in some of the areas where it's a little bit dark and I want to bring out some more detail. Alright, so I'm going to hit new because I want to try a different brush now. I'm going to open up and I'm going to go to my general reduce highlights brush.
I am going to use this brush on the brighter spots to kind of bring down the blown out highlights. Right, I'm going to go ahead and hit new again because I'm going to use a different brush. This time I'm going to use a color brush. And I'm going for the high saturation brush. So I'm going to go ahead and use that brush up in the sky to really bring out the blues. I'm going to basically use it all over this photograph. All right, and as I did with the last photograph, I'm going to open up my definition brush and I'm going to go for my definition subtle sky. And I'm just going to use that up in the sky up here again. So the last brush I'm going to use is a light darken brush and I'm just going to use this in some of my shadows just to create a little bit more contrast and definition. So here's the before and after for this photograph. As you can see, we've pulled out a lot of blue in the sky, also a lot of definition. We've sharpened the photograph and really brought out a nice orange color in the bridge. So I have a third photograph here, and the first thing I'm going to do is go to my HDR presets over here, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Clean High Dynamic Range preset. The next preset I'm going to use is a Polish High Contrast preset. So I've applied two presets to this photograph, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a few brushes to really enhance it. So the first brush I'm going to use is my Light Brighten Highlights brush. And I'm going to use that in certain areas where I want to brighten the highlights and bring out a little bit more light. So the next brush I'm going to use, I'm going to hit new, and then I'm going to use my light reduce highlights brush. And what I'm going to use the reduce highlights for is to kind of reduce this blown out area that I have right here. So the next brush I'm going to use, I'm going to hit new. And I'm going to go ahead to my haze brushes and I'm going to use the golden haze. What I'm going to do is color right in here where the sun is coming in and just add a nice golden kind of color to this right here. I'm going to add a little bit along the skyline here. And I'm going to up the saturation just a little bit. So 
the next brush I'm going to use, I'm going to hit new, I'm going to go to my HDR brushes and I'm going to open this guy, Subtle Definition. And I'm again going to use that all throughout here and especially around the clouds. So I'm going to hit new, I'm going to go to another brush and I'm going to go for a sunset haze brush. And I'm going to use that in the same area that I used to put the sunset before the golden haze. All right, and the last brush I'm going to use is in HDR General Lift Shadows. And I'm going to use that in some of these darker areas where I want a little bit of a more lighter detail. Right, so I'm finished with this photograph. I can show you the before and after. So what we've done here is we've added a lot of color and a lot of light, and we've really brought out the details here in the columns in this structure that you couldn't see before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today, and you'll get to try it for yourself soon.